I feel uh, many of you right now are, I mean, are, are taking someone for what they are. All right. I feel like there's a decision that you have come through, come to through evaluating somebody and some kind of truth is out that you might be experiencing or uh, maybe the beginning this week um well not this week i'm recording this in july but i feel this is the energy that's coming that you might be experiencing the first week so something is being revealed either you let someone know the truth or some kind of truth is coming out about what someone has done and now you are on the brink of making a certain decision and choice for you the other person that you are dealing with i feel like they're stressed out because they need to make a conscious decision as well either to move forward and it could be you know fearing some kind of conflict as well um that's what i get a sense of um putting an end to this particular relationship as maybe both of you move on and move into something new that could be part of it and it's really stressing you out for a lot of you so i feel like you are um, just trying to stay true to how you feel what you know needs to happen what has happened with somebody else and see that person or what it is it what is um is what it is okay kind of thing so um i feel um as you move into the second week there's this energy of you being um your mind may be ready getting the best of you all right because you're constantly in your head about somebody or something you know um maybe not feeling at the best not feeling at your best or feeling like you didn't give your best to another person and you know asking yourself the reasons why certain things happen did i do somebody wrong you know what did i do wrong certain things gonna be coming to you and it's going to bring out a lot of heartbreak and the tension is there because you can you know be asking yourself why are you dealing with somebody else who constantly maybe you feel like that person is always getting their way they have, they're always able to do what they want they're constantly making mistakes and you might forgive them you let them back in they do the same thing you let them back in and it's some kind of lesson that they need to um learn from but you can't you can help them with that lesson but the only way to really help them with that lesson is to really let them go maybe and get some space between you two and maybe it's partly due to another person that's in their energy maybe an ex-partner that they constantly go back to and they cycle between you cycle between them or they cycle between you as the next partner and you know back and forth something like that that's going on now i feel like you know the tension is going to be there so intense that sometimes you really can't relax you really can't sleep you really can't do anything else because that's on your mind so the advice for sure is to make sure that you do something to detach to disconnect to move away from whoever it might be yes you might want to be with someone but i feel like this person whoever it is they may constantly get into confrontation with somebody else on the outside for some of you and it's something that they might like um something that they constantly go back and forth to and it may be an adrenaline rush for them or an adrenaline rush for you if it's not somebody else that's between you two that's unhealthy and it, it's not really good to see because it can't bring you the uh, stability that you really need and that you might deserve from what you have gone through so that's definitely an issue the second week of august so as we move into the third week of August, I feel again you're watching, you're watching yourself. You know you're on guard, and I feel like this is, might be that person who has a lot to say. They might be trying to exploit something that you two have personally been through, and you're not liking it too much. So they say what they say, and then they say, "I want to, you know, divorce, or I want to separate, or I just don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm gonna do me." And it's all it's stuff that you heard before. You know, you heard these things before. It's like I'm so used to it right now. And you're still trying to learn from your situation. You're still trying to learn and do what you do. Now, for others of you, it seems like you, you're you on the end of revealing something that you, you did that you don't like. And you're trying to move away from a marriage or separate. And just disconnect so that you can move into a new relationship and you're bothered by it am i going to make the right decision you know this is the right thing to do for me and then you're trying to protect your own energy and you're hearing a whole lot in your ear from maybe someone that you were around and living with and the other person that you're waiting on they're having to endure the punishment so to speak of waiting for you to deal with what you have to deal with in order for you two to come together see it's, it's like that so depending on what side of the coin you want but i feel like a lot of text messages back and forth for me the third week of um, august um calling constantly not being able to get through someone is very frustrated and they're constantly at you at you at you and it might be driving you insane 
so I feel like that could be very annoying but as you shift into the fourth week of August yes you might be smiling about some things because you do see good signs you might even spurge a bit you might even give your romantic partner a gift or something to maybe appease them to kind of console them in some way but I want you to be careful with doing that and it's like you might fall back into that pattern of doing something for somebody else because they could be manipulating you you might give something to them and they go back into a pattern of cutting you off not communicating uh, they might block you or something and they might just uh because they feel like they have that kind of power i feel so some of you are dealing with multiple partners or multiple people um or someone who has multiple personalities that kind of um shifts you know in certain areas where it's not really healthy for you and um if you see it's a pattern of behavior, you know, they might really need to, you know, get some kind of help or assistance or just ask somebody or to speak to somebody. But I feel like you got to be very aware of what you're getting into. Be aware of that, especially someone from your past who you constantly break up in and out, in and out, in and out. And sometimes you might feel like it's OK. It might work one time. But how many times did you want your heart broken? from the same person over and over again repeatedly going through the same situation so um, I feel like you have to be careful how you put yourself in debt because of somebody else and be careful of the constant purposely maybe manipulating or ignoring and not really letting you know the truth about what's going on so it's almost like you go through all this hardship and then towards the end of the month you might you know feel like you might be gullible and you open up and then they shut you down um, be careful about that you know take things slow to see how things may go okay but I feel like a lot of you are shifting you're moving through letting some kind of truth come through letting it out um, whether it's your emotions you know crying about it shifting to a newer perspective and then being able to open up to somebody um, that might be on the outside kind of waiting for you or you're waiting for someone else to move on from something that's not quite healthy all right so that's going to be a reading. I do hope that the messages did help out in some way. Tons of love. Lots of light to you. Tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to PsychicGloveHills.com to schedule something for you.